Welcome my foodies, it's your girl ZQ and today we're going to be making one of my favorites, something simple and healthy, a shrimp salad. So I have this new Ninja Grill slash air fryer that I just purchased and it's my first time using it and we're going to see how it works. So um, it's already turned on. What I'm going to do to start is spray it with some Pam. This canola oil, the canola oil one, they said that's the best oil to use. Okay, so now it is preheating. And while that's doing that, we can start on our shrimp. So now that we have our shrimp in the bowl, they're clean, deveined, sitting in lemon, nice and clean. Now I'm gonna use some lorries. Some black pepper some onion powder some garlic salt some garlic powder. Right. Now, I'm gonna use my hands to just mix this all together. start chopping up our vegetables for our salad. So we're gonna start with the cucumber. I'm gonna cut it in half just so that I can just kind of peel it a little bit. I don't have a peeler right now, but hey, we're gonna work with it. Just gonna peel it a little bit on the sides. Just cause you don't want it, don't gotta be perfect, but and I just want it to be like a Plain cucumber. And all of these vegetables have been cleaned already. Pre-wash them. Alright, before I chop that all up. This is why I use a peel of bread. I suck at this little country style right here. Cube done. This thing is taking a minute to preheat, but it's preheating, y'all. It's taking its time. I'll be killing the cucumber when I, when I cut it like this, but that's alright. I'm just getting a little skin off. You know, it's rinsed off. We don't want to eat that skin. I'm gonna get that off there. Cut your cucumbers any kind of way you would like. It really doesn't matter. It's no specific way. This is what I like to cut mine to. So we can dump those back into the bowl. While I'm chopping these vegetables up, we got some lettuce here now, y'all. I'm going to just give you a little story time about one time when I... Not too long ago, actually, I applied for Master Chef, and I was so nervous, so scared, but I was inspired to do it. So I was like, "Bump it! I'm gonna just try it, and I'm gonna bring my flavor into it." So what I did was I made macaroni and cheese, collard greens and cabbage, and fried chicken. Yes, y'all, for Master Chef, I sure did. 
and they tore my food up. I ain't gonna lie. Although I did see Chef Ramsey. I wish he was there, but he wasn't there at the time. But it was overall a great experience. I learned a lot. You know, and I made some teriyaki chicken with a new recipe, something that I just thought of. And they tore it up. Even the contestants, people who supposed to be battling against me, tearing up my food, y'all. Tearing it up, okay? And uh, I was just so proud of myself because I don't really put myself out there like that. I'm usually just to myself, you know, just I don't, I don't try to put attention on to myself, really. But that was a great experience. I met a lot of great people. And all my family came out to support me, and that was very special to me. So, yeah. That whole day was really just crazy, like, honestly. Um, I didn't know how to do my own hair. I had to try and find myself a way um, the day of, mind you, doing stuff last minute. And I tried to find myself a way, get my hair done. Nobody was available to do my hair, so I literally did it all by myself. And, girl, it was a lace front. It was terrible, okay? Terrible. Blue everywhere, lace everywhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I, I think our ninja is red tag, y'all. So we're going to just throw that on now. There. All right, we'll come right back to this. Now let's go ahead and add our shrimp. All right, guys. You see how this works? My first time with this ninja air fryer, flash grill. Let's see what we about to be making with this bad boy in here. You know, I love me some shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Love it. So I know this about to be smacking. Mm -hmm. Now I'm assuming once I add this, I'm supposed to close it up and let these trunks do their thug sizzle. I'm assuming. Ooh, they smell good already. Mm, Y'all don't know how long I waited to eat my own food. I ain't gonna lie. That sound real, real bougie, but I ain't even kidding. All right, it says timer for 10 minutes, but of course, I'm not going to leave it for that long. Shrimp don't take that long to grill. I'm probably going to leave it for like two minutes, then flip them, leave it for like three minutes. So we'll be right back. So here we are. We back to the veggies, y'all. Yeah, so like I was saying, my hair was a mess, lace front everywhere, glue everywhere, terrible. And you know, it's crazy because I got a sister who does hair, so I don't know what I was thinking. She did help me pluck it and all that, but she wasn't available to put it in, so I was stuck figuring that out all by myself, man, which was, you know, a learning experience. I ain't even going to say what that was, all a learning experience for myself. All right, I use this onion because I love onion. Let me tell you, I eat onion all the time, okay? So I use this. I usually make, use red onion with tomatoes, make sandwiches. I mix them together, make like a tomato onion relish sometimes. You know, I'll, put, I'll make one of those videos probably soon. Real soon. So yeah, with a salad, you need a little onion. Literally, this is all I do. Sometimes I'll get fancy and toast me up some um, bread and with some olive oil and make me my own little, uh, what you call them, um, croutons. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, so these have been in for like two minutes. We're just gonna flip them. 
They don't look bad. They do look a little dry. Maybe I should put some more oil in there. I don't know. They look great though. They smelling bomb, I'll tell you that. And literally the the seasonings I told y'all about, I showed y'all just now. They're the they're the seasonings to help you get through life, alright? And I wouldn't just say that. It's it's serious, okay? They really help you get through it. Put that on anything and it just makes life better. Okay. spread a little bit of this just around just because I don't want it to be too dry looking. Mm -hmm. It's a little dry. And I'm going to leave that in there for two more minutes, y'all. Two to three more minutes. I know that the oil is not that potent on the this fryer. I could already tell. I'm going to definitely be using butter on there. Probably melt some butter or put some butter in there. Because honestly, butter is better and oil okay so salad is looking good and healthy already so what I'm gonna do now because all we doing now is just literally waiting for the shrimp to get done from the grill we're just gonna give it a little shake real quick hold on Have been going, and I think they're done now. They smell good, they sizzle it, it's hot. So, what I'm going to do now is plate our salad. All right, y'all. So, we're gonna just put some little salad over here because you know it's just the two of us, me and James, and we love us some salad, a good little salad, okay. Nice and healthy. Okay, so it's a little dinner. Den den. Like I said, I, it was crazy. Like I said, Master Chef was just really hard, but a great experience overall. Now I'm out of shrimps. Once again, thank you all for tuning in on Bomb ASF channel. Always serve fresh, okay? We're going to have more videos coming to you. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace!